happy Monday. Hopefully it's been a good Monday for you. I know this week is supposed to be interesting. So I think this is very timely placed um, Rocky Oil's little informational session, education, if you will. I think we all are in this space of needing some grounding, some centering, um, trying to get ourselves back to being on track, uh, figuring out what life is like right now, uh, figuring it out as we are in summer. And it felt like summer started early, right? (laughs) So a quick introduction. I am Lauren. I am the inventor extraordinaire. (laughs) <laughs> of Accu Oils. Thank you. I know I have like this purple hue in my hair. It really is pink. I don't know. Lighting. Whatever. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Um, and I run Accu Mama Health and I do Accu Oils treatments in my office where I am. And also do a lot of education because I think it's really important. A lot of us have oils. A lot of us don't know how to use them. But further than that, there are points on the body acupuncture points where they could be really, really beneficial, especially when it comes to things like grounding. So the big point I always like to use in grounding, uh, the big one's kidney one, which I'll show you in a second because it's on the bottom of my foot. Hey, when you think of grounding, you think of, hi, I know everyone needs grounding, right? (laughs) So I think it's just really important to go over grounding because we are in astrologically we are in like this melting pot mm, pressure cooker that's about to boil over right so <laughs> i think grounding and as we move forward with the rest of this 2020 20 year i'm like there are so many adjectives i could use for 2020 right now that are not appropriate so we we're, we're gonna leave it right there And we are going to focus on the centering and grounding aspects of what the class is on today. So kidney points, kidney one, I think is really important. One, it's on the bottom of your foot. And when you think of grounding, you think of putting your feet literally in the dirt, in the soil. It is a shit show. I mean, you know. (laughs) But that's why we need grounding. That's why we need to connect to the earth. We're from the earth. We go back to the earth. Uh, When we pass on, when our spirit goes where it needs, uh, wherever your views on that lie. But we come from the earth and we go back to the earth. And as such, there are times that we are squirrel or we are overwhelmed or we are anxious or we are dealing with a lot or we are in like, oh, which is my life lately. So I have noticed that this is needed because grounding centering really helps you come back to your center it helps you focus it helps you kind of like recalibrate your brain to be able to have the correct outlook on life from everything that's going on (laughs) so in my squirrel brain i have noticed okay i have three bottles of balance it's it's a doTERRA blend at home and i apparently did not bring that with me but balance is one of my first ones that i really like to use Because it is a combination of um, trees and root oils that, and it's called the grounding blend. I mean, yeah. Um, But it is great for using whenever you're trying to ground because of those trees and roots that are in the oil blend to be able to center you, to keep you focused and to recalibrate that. So you are present. So you are your best self, which we all need right now. Um, A good like I'd say similar oil would be Valor. Apparently I don't have that in here either. I am missing the mark today. You'll have to forgive me. I go through a lot of oils with treatments. So <laughs> sometimes they're at home when I need when I need to bring them home for my kids because I have a son that's on the spectrum and has ADHD and it wouldn't surprise me if my daughter has ADHD as well and We go through a lot of grounding blends in my house. I mean, for me included, because I need to keep my head on my shoulders and not go off on them. Parents know. Parents understand. (laughs) But that's the, um, it is the oil of grounding, the balance blend, or valor, or whatever you use. It's a combination of trees, roots, things of that nature. And it has such a wonderful smell. And I'm really excited to smell these and get my head on straight, you know. 
Um, but balance is especially suited for personalities who seek to escape from life through disconnection and disassociation. Anyone going through that lately? Anyone want to escape this life lately? I mean, come on now. <laughs> but this helps you to kind of refocus, recenter. And I am reading out of the Essential Oils for Emotions book. I, ha I think it has a lot of good information, so I always like to share that. And even going forward... If that's a book that you want to look into, I bought mine on Amazon. There's a lot of different websites you can get it from, but it's homesickness. Yes. <laughs> homesickness for not only like earthly realm realms, but spiritual realms, right? As I can't talk while I say it, but the grounding blend is really good for that. Valor is really good for that. Whatever you use to help ground yourself is really good for that. Um, another oil, I flip over. I was reading through my research and vetiver, which is very, I don't know if you can see it from here, but it's like a really resinous, like thick oil, similar to frankincense and myrrh, which are resins, but it is the oil of centering and descent. So it helps descend that energy where we want to go out and crazy. We can bring it back in, bring it full circle. And that's why a lot of people like to use this one for sleep because you need to be in your body to be able to sleep. Even if you do astral travel, that's for that's a topic for another day but even to be able to center and ground yourself enough to get some good rest to be able to fall asleep to allow your body to relax which is that sleep process that REM process this is a great oil to use for that because it helps keep you rooted in life and and yes this one's not a resin this one's a root I haven't talked about better for a while I'm like watching it in the bottle see Let's just go ahead and put some on myself. So one of the points, while we're talking about points, because I'm about to do one, uh, that I like to use for grounding oils, which sometimes goes against the mark, is do 20 right on the top of the head. You like, find the tips of your ears, come on the top. Yeah, that is a sticky one. <laughs> but I like it because it's going to descend the energy that's coming out of your head, right? So that can be really helpful whenever you're trying to do a class online, live, or when you're trying to sit to yourself enough to be able to talk to your kids in a calm manner, or you're trying to get through some really tough emotional stuff, or you're trying to go to sleep. Because we all know, lately, monkey mind is a thing, especially whenever you are quieting down your body so you can relax, it's good to quiet down your mind as well so you can fall asleep. So putting it on G20 to help leaky auras, they can. Oils can help with that. And maybe that's another subject I will talk on because I definitely think that is all about, I think that's more protection. And there's one of the oils in here that I'm going to talk about that's very protective. Um, whenever you have something leak out of you, you want to make sure and protect that protective bubble like we talked about in moon gathering. So... Anyway, so vetiver, the centering oil, we have balance, the grounding oil, we have Douglas fir, tree oil, I like trees, roots, resins, it smells good, this is the oil of generational wisdom, and I think as we're going through shifting generational patterns from a spiritual level, wherever you fit into that spectrum of spirit. We are healing a lot of generally generational and ancestral patterns, as I can't speak, so I apologize. We are going through a lot of healing of that. So being able to connect with the wisdom that comes from our ancestors, from our spirit guides and things of that nature can help ground us and center us as we ground into Gaia. And Douglas fir can help with that. It's also a tree oil. I say whatever oils you have on you, whatever company, whatever you jive and vibe with, tree oils, root oils, and resins are going to be very centering and grounding because they come from the earth. Not that all oils don't come from the earth, but they're like the trees, the roots, the grounding, right? And that's what you want to focus on whenever you're like crazy trying to figure out what's going on, all those things. So... Use Douglas fir if you're just dealing with a lot of family stuff and you just need to be able to ground and center yourself and be, 
be present within you, not anyone else's story, but your own. And one of my favorites, which I talk about a lot, which I have in a blend that I make is Arbor Vitae. It is the oil of grace. I think that is really important when we're talking about grounding and centering. I like to put it on yin tong right here in between the eyebrows. If you would like to see that my stress has given me quite the little divot there. It comes and goes. It's been a high stress week. Hopefully the, well, last week. I hope this week is better. Let's be honest. <laughs> um, but this, I love the smell of it. It's very sweet. It's very trees. It's very reminding you to give yourself grace as we're going through all these shifts and changes. It's reminding you, yourself to give you grace in many aspects of life in general. We all need grace, but that comes first from ourselves, from our heart, from being able to connect to ourselves and our divine source, whatever you resonate with there. It's also a really good kidney oil. And like I was talking about in the beginning, I like using kidney points with tree oils because kidney chi or pre post heaven essence chi whatever you learn about in TCM is all about your your energy your life energy when you come into this earth and the energy you have and the chi that you're able to create once you're here so being able to keep that in balance and being able to keep that moving and grooving you know no stagnation or anything or no um deficiency tree oils can really help with that and when we we're talking about arbor vitae and its ability to help us connect to the ground to the trees to the earth and pull energy from that up and be able to just be and be present I know I'm saying that a lot but that is what grounding is it's like being present it's coming back to the present moment it's coming to the ground putting your feet on the ground, wherever you are, and being able to be in the present moment where you're at. So I think that's really important. And as, as I've talked about these oils, I think it's a tool that you can use. Meditation's a great tool. Going and putting your feet in the dirt outside is a good tool. Using Arbor Vitae on Yin Tong is a great tool to remind yourself to give yourself a little grace. Uh, let's see. The next oil is an Eden's Garden one that I really like. It's called Buddha Wood. It's from the Bodhi tree. So it comes from that spiritual sense of, this one's not open yet, so I'm like, maybe I'll just get my open one. It's a very resinous and hard to open tree oil. You can see like the resin on the side. Yeah, that happens. It's a thick oil, man. I'll stick that on your tongue too. But this is the one that I like to use on kidney one a lot because it does, you can feel it start to put you back in your body. Like sap. Yeah, it's very resinous. <laughs> Tree sap. Hmm. Um, yeah, but the Buddha wood oil is very good for that. I would say it's probably similar in viscosity to vetiver if you've worked with vetiver before. And I like to put it right on kidney one. And I will show you where that is on my lovely foot. So be prepared. My foot is awesome. I took a shower today, so you're welcome. But right in here, below the balls of your feet, you'll find a little point. That's kidney one. That is the ultimate grounding point. Because it's on the bottom of your foot. It's where your foot hits the dirt. It's where your foot hits the ground. And it's also a really good point to bring that energy down, to be able to ground yourself, to bring that anxiety down, to bring the overwhelm and the craziness down and centered, which is why Buddha wood works really well for that point because it's a resinous tree oil. So. And that one I get from Eden's Garden. I don't know if you could see it on there. What is? And the last one I want to talk about is White Angelica. Young Living makes this one. I like it because it's a very protective oil. 
It spiritually protects you and grounds you and blocks you from negative energies, which I feel we all need whenever we're trying to ground and center and turn off the monkey mind and turn off all the negative thoughts and things of that nature. So I like to use this one, of course, on D20. I like it on D14 in the back of the neck as well. And y'all have heard me talk about the back of the neck being a spiritual opening in many aspects. I feel like I need to do a separate video on that. <laughs> but, you know. Anyways, so the three points, 220, yentong, bottom of the foot, kidney one. We've got balance, the grounding blend, or valor from Young Living. Uh, we have vetiver which you can get from almost any oil supplier. I was using doTERRA's version. Arbor Vitae, which I think just doTERRA carries right now. Buddha Wood. Douglas Fir for generational wisdom. And Arbor Vitae is the oil of grace. And White Angelica, that protection aspect. Um, another one we did not talk about just yet, but I really like and I got recently, is Black Spruce. I know Young Living makes this one as well. And it's a very spiritually high vibe energetic oil that will like put you in your place, which we need sometimes. And this one I would put on Yin Tong, right in between the eyes, or even Ren 17, right at the center of the heart chakra. I'm going to do that now. Some say it is higher vibe than rose, which is pretty high vibe oil. There are ways that I agree with that and disagree with that in terms of um, the different chemical compositions that both oils have. They're both very high vibe in terms of what they can do for the body and the soul. This one is more tree oriented as opposed to rose, which is flower oriented, which I feel is more aromatic in use as opposed to a tree oil, which is grounded. So that's just my personal opinion. I would love to hear what you think of that. So any questions on anything I went over so far? Because <laughs> that was kind of a lot and kind of scattered. And for that, I'm sorry. <laughs> but that is the, that's why we need grounding oils, right? We got to come back. I will go and close this for now. I appreciate you guys being on here live with me. If you catch the replay, much appreciated. I'm also going to post this on my YouTube. If that is an easier channel for you to watch something like this on, you are more than welcome to. I usually post it after I do the live, like right now. Um, if you want any other tips, tricks, want to follow me on the social medias, my business is Acumama Health on Facebook. My Instagram is Akimama Health Reiki because I do that as well. And Akimama Health on good old YouTubers. I hope you guys have a great week. Try to use this before you go to bed at night and see how your sleep changes and see how you feel in the morning. And let me know in the comments. All right. Mwah. Much love.